nickels and dimes. It's now far more difficult to redeem those CRV deposits we pay on bottles and cans. We've been reporting about the sudden shutdown of the state's largest recycling company, Replanet. Yeah, so if consumers aren't getting deposits back, where is that money going? People came to seven on your side's Michael Finney for the answer. Uh, we're talking about a lot of money here. It's a nickel and dime to you and me, but wow, does that add up. Uh, nickels and dimes you pay for deposits adds up, and we pay a staggering $1.3 billion into the state fund every year. Right now it's overflowing with millions of dollars of unclaimed deposits. So many of you came to me asking, why can't we get our deposits back? Cans and bottles are piling up in Angela Gonzalez's Daily City home. So dime for each can. She used to cash them in at a replanet recycle center right near her house. But here's the place now. Shut down along with all 274 replanet centers in California. And now that they close the recycles, you cannot get your money refunded. When you go to the store, you pay for that. So I believe I should get it back. Barbara Kretschmer of Pacifica was putting her bottle refunds into a savings account for her grandkids. Now the recycle centers near her are closed too. I have a refund coming, but if I can't take it any place to do this, then I won't get my money back. What I want to know is where the money's going. And Michael Finney seems to get the answers. We did get some answers. Right now, California consumers pay about $1.3 billion in bottle deposits to the state every year. The state redeems about $1 billion, but not all of that goes back to consumers. When we throw empties into curbside recycle bins, for example, the garbage companies can get the deposits back. About 9% of the money is going to them. That still leaves millions of dollars in unclaimed deposits, which the state is holding. The recycle program projects a $273 million surplus. The governor's budget puts the figure at $307 million. Consumer advocates say some of that money should be used to keep recycle centers open so folks can reclaim the deposits as the law intended. If they just took 10 or $20 million of that and gave it to the remaining recycling centers, which they could do tomorrow, they would basically save the system because consumers can't redeem their bottles and cans, and you're not using that to make it easier. However, the agency in charge, Cal Recycle, says its hands are tied. The state's 33-year-old bottle bill dictates how that money is spent. Cal Recycle says it has no authority to give recycle centers more money. Only lawmakers can do that. Still, recycle centers say state funding isn't enough to keep them afloat as they face higher costs and get lower prices for recycled materials. And now China has stopped buying most of it. Which brings us back to Barbara and Angela. What are they to do with their bottles and cans? Yes, hello. Are you the manager? State law says grocers must take back your empties or pay a $100 per day fee if there is no recycle center within a half mile of their store. I was told that I could bring back my bottles to your store and you would give me my Redemption value. Cal Recycle posted a list of about 3,700 retailers who agreed to redeem your containers rather than pay that fee. It's a California law. They say you are on their list. But are they ready to take them? We help Barbara and Angela try. Tomorrow night at 6, we'll show you what happened when we brought bottles into the stores. Watch it right here on ABC7 and on ABC7. News.com, you're going to be surprised. Wow. I have a feeling they're going to be on Michael Finney's list. Yeah. <laughs>